breaking news right now at 501. We've got a two alarm fire in North Sacramento to tell you about. Yeah, the fire crews are trying to save two homes on Kern Street. Here's the map. This is near Interstate 80 and Marysville Boulevard. That's where we find Mike Tassell joining us live uh, with more there. Mike, what have you found out? Well, I can tell you it's still a very active scene right now. You can see all of the fire engines still on scene here right now. Let's get straight to the video. I'll explain what we have. I just spoke with Robert Padilla from uh, the Sacramento City Fire Department. And when firefighters arrived, they had not one, but two separate homes fully engulfed in flames. Uh, they were able to quickly uh, determine uh, that they were able to knock those uh, two house fires down, but not before it spread to even a third property. So three different homes damaged or destroyed in this fire. The good news here is that no one was injured. Firefighters still trying to figure out if anybody was actually home when they got here, whether they all, uh, the homes were empty. But spoke with one neighbor who lived right behind where the, this fire was. He described what it was like and why he thinks this date today might be significant. Listen. It was uh, the popping sound going on. It's uh, just in intervals, like five seconds, three seconds, then more popping going on. And then you start hearing those kids, you know, and the mothers grab the babies and people screaming. And it sounds like people were running through alleys and just uh, just Bentley, man. It's just crazy. I thought I was dreaming at first. It didn't seem real, man. What were you thinking? Well... It being Friday 13 just dawned on me. <laughs> I was like, well, here we go. And back here live, the situation remains uh, active here as these fire personnel are still mopping up this scene. No real ongoing threat here along Kern Street. But again, three different homes damaged, according to the fire department. No one injured. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for a couple of family pets. One fire chief here on scene confirming that a couple of pets were not able to get out of these fires. Live along a closed Kern Street near Grand Avenue, Mike Tassell, KCR Ray 3 News.